Over the years, Sweeney has gone from a good company to a trash one with having censorship and trying to push their agendas onto gamers. Well, how's it going in Japan over there? Oh, it's the worst selling console in Japan's history. Yep, you're getting what you deserve, Sweeney. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So, the PS5 is selling worse than any, any Sony home console in Japan's history. The very country that it started in, and it is now just going downhill. As we've been seeing, Sweeney has gone down this path of trying to change things up to fit the Western audience. You know, with censorship, getting woke, all these terrible things that they've been doing. And goes to show that they started to lose focus on Japan and started to focus more on the West. And we're going to get into a few articles. We're going to talk about this because there's a lot going on here. And PlayStation brand itself is in a decline even. You see... Sony themselves, they wanted to cater to the Western audience. Well, looks like it's not looking too good for them. And it looks like it's going pretty bad for their future in Japan as well. So this article comes from Screen Rant right here. PS5 is selling worse than any Sony home console in Japan's history. Sony's PS5 is currently the worst selling home console in recent Japan history after accusations of the company has been neglecting the country. It has recently been revealed that Sony's PlayStation 5 is selling worse in Japan than any other home console in the country's recent history. This news comes after many Japanese fans and analysts publicly accused Sony of not taking the Japanese market seriously. Now, if you remember a couple months back in an article, there was an insider that worked at Sony that stated that it just seemed like they didn't care about the Japanese market anymore. And it looks like that has actually become more and more true as time has gone on because we've seen that they just don't seem to really focus on the Japanese market. I mean, they just don't seem to care. That even goes for advertising. I mean, we're going to talk about that in a moment. PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan denied the validity of these accusations. Oh, of course, because they're, they're not going to admit that. <laughs> you know, they're, they're not going to admit that at all. But recent developments have suggested otherwise. Outside of Japan, the PS5 has been incredibly popular, resulting in console shortages right from the outset of its launch, although finding a PS5 should be easier this year. Uh, yeah, yeah, scalpers don't take it all first. Of course, the PS5 also faced supply shortages in Japan due to the pandemic production difficulties, but it seems that the console has not been met with the same widespread praise in Sony's home nation. Yikes, <laughs> that's rough. A translation of a Game Industry Biz Japan edition article by Reset Era. Reset, Reset Era. Oh God, Reset Era of all places, really. User Sin City Assassin reveals that the PlayStation 5 is currently on pace to become the lowest-selling home console in recent Japanese history. Part of the translation reads: PS5 sales in the fourth and fifth weeks are around 11,000 units, while the sixth week is 17,000 units. These sales are far too low. Total sales of 240,000 are by far the lowest in the history of PlayStation home consoles. If this were to continue, lifetime sales of PS5 would perhaps end up at less than half of the PS4. You want to talk about rough? That's rough for them. Very rough. The article notes that Japanese players may feel this way due to a variety of factors. Oh man, I wonder what those factors could possibly be. Censorship! <coughs> mm. Oh man, something really big came over me there. I, man, it must have been something huge. Including Sony's censorship of games for Japanese audiences. Of course, because what have they been doing? They've been censoring anime games. You know, like, if there's an attractive female anime character with some big assets, if you know what I mean. Oh, well, they're going to censor that because it doesn't fit their standards. But Sony didn't mind with The Last of Us Part Two having a spicy scene with pro golfer Abby and that. No, that's perfectly acceptable to them, though. Yeah, you see the double standard? They love to live for that double standard. The hypocrisy of Sony. The PS5's reveal from this summer featuring no Japanese narration, the DualSense's controller confirmed button being changed from O to X, which that did upset a lot of Japanese fans, which they did that to appeal to Western audiences as well. This was already the case in other countries outside of Japan, and the original launch allocation of PS5 units in Japan being barely more than that of the PS3, which prevented early adopters from procuring the new console. 
Which, you could thank scalpers for that, because they were going around getting every PS5 they could possibly find. Which, let's be real, everybody hates scalpers. So, continuing. Despite the PlayStation 4 being so well-received globally, according to the above graph, it sold less than the Nintendo GameCube and PS3 in Japan, and only narrowly outsold the Dreamcast, which was only on the market for three years. A trend that could continue with Sony's latest console for the PlayStation 5 to be lagging so far behind its predecessor is likely not something Sony wants to see occur in its own backyard. And the one thing that really helped the PlayStation 3 was the anime games, because they had some niche anime games and other consoles didn't have. And so that really saved the PS3. You know, it was anime fans. And thing of it is, is that with PlayStation 5, well, the big issue they're going through now is, well, censorship. That, and they didn't advertise well at all for Japan. They did not. They did not at all, which is terrible. On the other hand, perhaps Sony is okay with this being a side effect of its more global approach. As of late, surely the company knew there would be backlash when it made decisions like swapping the X and the O buttons or moving PlayStation's headquarters to California, which was the worst decision. This is to say, maybe Sony is indeed okay with its latest console to have Fewer lifespan than the Dreamcast in Japan if it means having the type of sales success in other countries that the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 had. And this is going to bite them in the ass because what's going on here with them just basically ignoring Japan, treating Japan, which is their home country, as if they're not important. Oh, well, prepare to get big backlash because that's what's going on. You know, it's absolutely embarrassing for them that they're going to basically lose their home turf at this point. I mean, not even kidding. And you look at it, report PlayStation brand in decisive decline in Japan. Research firm is deeply concerned. See, that that is embarrassing for Sony when you think about it. While sales numbers can be allocated to limited launch inventory with an expected surge once Sony gets manufacturing and supply worked out, there are still a number of factors over the last decade that Yasuda is taking into account in his analysis of the brand's decline in Japan. He specifically outlined the following. One, the PS4 launched in 2013, but Japan's release came afterward. <laughs> See, that's already telling right there. Two, after fall 2018, Sony implemented its own regulations on depictions in games, which has censored content aimed at Japanese users. Which, terrible decision, because what they were doing was they were going after the Western audience. And that's when they started censoring games, which they were also putting these regulations on Japan, which they never should have been censoring games in the first place. And that already got gamers all around, including Japanese gamers, upset over this. Understandably so. Number three, the PS5 reveal video had no Japanese narration, while there were issues with the font used for the subtitles as well as their Japanese translations. And that's just pathetic. That's that's sad. Because you'd think that they would, you know, think enough about their Japanese audience, and then they didn't. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's really sad. It really is. The confirm button was changed from O to X in order to set a global standard. Yeah, which a lot of Japanese users were not happy about that, which is understandable. Due to manufacturing issues, the initial launch allocation for PS5 in Japan was barely above that of the PS3, preventing the system from reaching early adapters. Which, because of that, that might mean that the future for the PlayStation 5 in Japan in general, yeah, that's going to get worse. That just means it's going to get that much worse. Then, of course, you have Newsbreak. They accuse Sony of not taking the Japanese market seriously, and this is exactly what I mean. Because, as you're seeing, over time has been going on, well, they have not been focusing on Japan. And that's not a good thing, considering that Sony was such a big presence at one time in the Japanese market, and now this is going on. I mean, <laughs> this is ridiculous. And at this point, you know, like, with Sony getting so censor-happy and trying to appeal to the West and chasing them, oh yeah, people are going to fall more on PC and Switch. I mean, the day that Nintendo is not censoring things as much, unless it's like their first-party titles. Like, you know, that's insane, when it used to be the complete opposite. And when you look at it, Microshaft is no better. I mean, you know, because they're doing censorship as well. I mean, things are changing for the worse. When it comes to Sony, when it comes to Microsoft, that at this point, you know, Nintendo's really the good one as well as PC, especially PC. PC's obviously Master Race, but you get my point. Like, we're to the day that Nintendo is actually the best option, which is pretty humorous. It's so different from what it was. And Niche Gamer had a tweet here. Research firm claims fall of PlayStation in Japan is definitive. Blame censorship and not realizing Japan's potential. Yeah, and speaking of censorship, well, what else happened? They ruined an excellent series. I mean, Cinder and Kagura, 
got just completely destroyed because of Soiny. I mean, the franchise is dead because of them. I mean, all because of their censorship. They killed it. I mean, it was all them. I mean, it's terrible. And this one person responding here was actually pretty funny, though. They they made a good point, stating, moving their headquarters to California was the final nail in the coffin. Also, always remember, and it shows Asuka stating, F Soiny and F California, which is true, because when that happened, well, things started getting worse. They started trying to change things, and that's when they started really focusing on their Western audience than they did anything else. And that's when, basically, Japan just fell into the back burner, and we started seeing all this terrible censorship happening, and them just ruining titles that people loved, and them going after anime games. You know, that's their agenda on anime, is that they're now going after it, they've been doing it for years, and because of that, like I said, they destroyed and ruined Sinran Kagura. And they've gone after and continue to go after anime games. I mean, this is why we're seeing Japanese developers jump ship from the PlayStation to the Switch and to PC. Because they know that they'll at least be able to keep their creative freedom of expression. They know it. And that's why they're jumping ship, because they don't want to have to censor their games, you know, for PlayStation. And PlayStation's brand is just from what it seems, is dying in Japan. I mean, it's crazy to think that Japan is is failing in its own home country. I mean, <laughs> you know, they've done it to themselves, and this is what they get for wanting to get woke. Now they're going to go broke. I mean, and you're really starting to see it. And Sony won't admit it, but you can tell they don't care about their Japanese audience, and it's sad. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here, and make sure you are still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you are still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like, and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated, and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released, as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on Discord. The link is in the description down below. But anyways. I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.